We're here at WTSA 24, the World Telecommunications Standardization Assembly, which is being held in New Delhi in India. And this is actually part of the WTSA Expo, which is where a number of exhibitors have gathered to demonstrate their products, show off their innovations being used with the power of uh, technology, but of course uh, being helped by standardization. And I've stopped here to look at one of the stands here, which is D-Town Robotics PVT Limited, and to talk to a few of the people who are gathered here. My name is Dipankar Jha, and I am from D-Town Robotics Private Limited. Our company is drone and robot manufacturing company. As you can see here, drone also, robots also, and this is Monal version 2 of Monal and this is required for surveillance purpose. For example, if you are uh, doing surveillance in tough terrains like hilly areas, mountains and uh, wind resistance is uh, much more high. In that case, you can make surveillance, you can get live, dat live data from this drone. It gives you proper stability and uh, you can get the live feed of the videos and photos. And here, if you want to go for photography and videography, in that case, you can go for this one. This is no, no. It has 35 minutes of flight time and 4K with 4K camera quality. And it will give you proper videography and photography of any anywhere you can, even you can use it in-house also. Now, there are obviously already a number of drone manufacturers. What stimulated you to get into this business? We are the startup of you know, 2018 startup and uh, we have started uh, like uh, proper manufacturing. Make, we have uh, started uh, through Make in India and Made in India concept. And uh, you can see here that uh, we have own proper own designing. We have own man in a completely you can say in-house manufacturing in, uh, in drone and robots as well. And this yes. enables you to be able to customize it for the customer. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, we are. Uh, we are. Uh, we are not like uh, customizing. Com uh, we are proper customizing and uh, manufacturing in house, sir. And you also got a robot here as well. Is that right, yes. uh, sir? This is robot, and huge case of this robot is uh, like if you want surveillance in uh, in any tunnels or in crowded area where uh, where easily no one can. Uh, go and if you want uh, a silent surveillance in that case you can use this robot also it can provide you proper uh, images photos videos and you can get live feed of that location and uh, it, it can be used for uh, the, uh, defense purpose also and defense have multiple uses so defense yes. and multiple uses yes. and uh, and in terms of the the future for your your company how do you see the future uh, sir, the future uh, for defense also, in education sector also, in different sectors also, we are improvising our product also. And uh, as a manufacturer, we we have the we get the huge case of the client and our customers and provide products as per their necessity, as per their use case. Sir. Excellent. Well, thank you. Thank you very much indeed and uh, great talking to you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, Thank you. And um, we're going to move now uh, to uh, another uh, uh, stand here at the exhibition. This is uh, the SRM Institute for Science and Technology, the NCR campus. And you've actually got two uh, different uh, startups uh, that are being uh, shown off here. Uh, so we'll start off with uh, this one, Sky Guardian, an autonomous drone designed to enhance search and rescue operations as well as agricultural monitoring. Uh, so all very interesting stuff and all very important stuff. Let me talk to you. So tell me a little bit about what you've got here. Okay, so hi, uh, my name is Ayush Kumar Singh. We are from SRM and uh, he's uh, Abhishe, uh, Abhinav Shakya, my friend Dhruv Kumar and the Vinil over here. Meet me, uh, Mr. Uh, Shrithi Saxena, our professor and the mentor also. Excellent. Well, we'll talk to you very shortly, but tell me a little bit about what you've got here. Okay, so we have a quadcopter drone with having a radio link class flight controller in it. And we are just trying to make a drone that will help you in the surveillance purposes for the surveillance purpose and the search and rescue missions for the uh, NDRF team and the, for the army of the Indian, Indian army, actually. And uh, we are trying to make an additional uh, component in it for the agriculture sector also. So this is the agriculture's our secondary purposes, but uh, we are trying to make a uh, 
a drone that will help in the uh, army for the we, we are trying to make a quadcopter with the help of the uh, heat cameras and the normal cameras as well as with the help of the raspberry pi and code in it and we are trying to uh, implement uh, artificial intelligence with it so it can regulate or uh, autonomous flyers in it so we are trying to and and this is a, a model that you've built yourselves is that right yeah this is a model we have built and try to uh, we are uh, implement a thousand kilovolts of the uh, VLDC motors. Uh, there are total four motors in it, and uh, we try to we have we have printed 3D printer with uh, we have uh, 3D printed with. Uh, with so you you uh, you've produced this with 3D printing and buying different parts. Is that right? Yeah, uh, we 3D printed the, all the parts and uh, the frames were uh, the metal frames were buy from the uh, cheaper market now. Okay, excellent. And uh, so, tell me a little bit about the the, the components here. What uh, what makes this special, and how how you're connecting this up, how you're piloting this, etc. So we have thousand kilovolts four VLDC motors, which are powered by this ESC, which gets the uh, control from this cross flight, and we will control it with fly sky transmitter, and we have its receiver here. So when we give the command to this then it will go to cross flight and it will give the commands to these ESC to how, how much power we have to give to lift off or any other things then we have our GPS module which will give the coordinates over here and we have our 2200 mAh uh, lithium ion battery and we have used the telemetry radio communication for the 25 kilometers that we can not fly it with this so we will install it in here at the ground port and it will connect it here from the telecom port okay so using a laptop with a with the usb um, uh, aerial as well in the, the power of telemetry yeah, yeah. essentially you're able to pilot this uh, this drone yes you are right okay and uh, and how long is it taking you you to develop this so we uh, we have taken about two to three months for developing it so far okay and uh, what would you hope that the the rollout would be of this how would you how what would be your best case scenario uh, having spent time developing this so that it can fly autonomously and a longer its flight time and stability and it can help our indian army and our farmers when we will apply the pesticide sprayer to it that's what we think that we will do in future so this is essentially this is a this is a prototype, obviously, yeah. um, and uh, the the full model would would be covered, would have uh, protection against uh, the, the elements, etc. Uh, but also, you could scale it up in size as well. So there would be you you would have different sizes. Is that correct? Yes, we will try to make it in a hexacopter and in a bigger size. Excellent. Okay, and um, and the software itself, the your the, or the the operating software that you're you're. Uh, you, it, you will, it is the cross flight software which comes with it. So okay. so uh, it is a cross flight software that comes with it. But we are trying to make it our own with the help of the uh, Google uh, Map on it. We are trying to make a uh, autonomous navigation with it. So we are trying to make uh, four coordinates of the platforms. And uh, when the uh, coordinates are received by the uh, software in it, so it's make a flight path uh, from it and covers the all area in it. Okay, so it's uh, normally take off the uh, basic uh, or, the, or the base and fill the pesticides or the minerals from there and uh, trying to spray with all the help of the coordinates. So if if the pesticides are uh, going empty by the chance, so it comes to the main uh, base, it's refill it and the completes its mission. Okay, all right. We've talked quite a fair amount about drones. Tell me a little bit about uh, this one's yours. Is that right? And this is this is uh, part of uh, Orton AI. Orton AI is it? Okay. So my name is Priyansh Neel. I'm from SRM, and so my startup name is Orton AI. So it is basically a health performing uh, monitoring system. So like in as you know, Indian diets are full of carbohydrates, and by by this, uh, people get heart attack and cardiac arrest at at very young age. So to prevent that and to warn them before they have their any uh, heart attack or cardiac arrest and any type of these disease. So we made a, a performance monitoring system which includes a ECG, a BPM, SpO2 measurement, and sir, in further we will add a glucometer and BP monitor and sir essential. A, a small feature, a UV index uh, detection. 
okay. UV index detection as well. Yes. And so this this would be something that consumers could have, uh, people could have at home uh, and keep monitoring themselves yes. regularly. Is that right? Yes, sir. So like uh, I want to make it a co uh, make it compact and like if a person wears it like a band and forget it, but uh, it vitals get recorded and it gets uh, saved in a database and then it. Uh, we uh, developed an AI also, which uh, sends that uh, data sends to the AI, and they predict what will happen to that uh, user, and they warn them so that they can be conscious and they can improve in. The I, I presume that the, the miniaturization element is yes. the the is perhaps the greatest challenge. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So because uh, it is look very bulky, and it is a screen also. So. Our aim is to remove that screen and make it more compact with uh, all these essential uh, sensors in a single board and flexible board like this. Okay, and you, you've been doing all of this as part of your coursework, is that right? Are you all uh, students? Yes, sir. Of SRM University. Yes. And so I'm part of the incubation center also. But incubation center as well at the university. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, uh, about that with you. So you're a professor at the university. <laughs> tell us, uh, um, please introduce yourself yeah. and tell us a little bit about what's going on here. I'm Shitit Saxena. I'm an assistant professor at SRM, and I'm into academics for the last 23 years. I've been with these guys uh, with wonderful, awesome ideas. At times, I try my best to give a bit of it to them so that they can implement it in whatever they are doing and come up with something better which can make our lives easier. And they've been doing fairly well. Excellent. What, at what stage do you think the, these, these two uh, particular startups are at? How, how close do you think uh, that they're getting to what is required in the real uh, commercial world? So the way I would advise them is uh, they should improve on it because a lot of improvements are needed. And as I can see their work, it would probably take another six months before it could be commercialized. So they are looking for people who can invest their money in it so that uh, it can be commercialized at a bigger scale so that the cost can come down. Right now, it's at a very nascent stage, but I believe they will do wonders. Well, I, I certainly know that the, I can see the enthusiasm and I know that the, 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 there is a market absolutely for, for both of these products. Um, so thank you very much indeed. And thank you for, for explaining that to us. So there you have it. We've got uh, two different, very different exhibitors here. One from 2000, that's been a startup from 2018 already up and running. Another one uh, that's uh, pretty nascent, uh, or two here, they're a few months old really in development, um, but both very exciting projects. And, uh, and I think uh, that uh, hopefully uh, you'll have enjoyed uh, listening to them and, and hearing a little bit about uh, what's being on, what's, what's on show here uh, at uh, the uh, expo. So if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you will have, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. And thanks for tuning in.